hey guys so we're back with a new video so this time we'll be talking about our first athlete of this um rest of the month of um october so this person is um you know someone incredible um we're talking about no other than natasha hastings who is held in um the u.s she is also a 400 meter specialist she also is a very versatile runner as well she has run the 100 all the way up to 400 natasha hastings is born on july 23rd 1986 her birthplace is in new york and her hometown is also in new york brooklyn you know um one thing about natasha hastings is that you know little did people know she basically started at a very young age as well she got her first sponsor i would say um when she went pro in 2007 she also made the u.s team at the beijing olympics and she also made the olympics um at the 2016. now she did participate in the 4x4 as well as the 4x4 um relay in both olympic uh, consecutive years she also placed fourth in the 400 that year you know um she is very versatile when it comes to relay like if you were to like put her into a position where you know she has to run like a position especially like um certain events you should definitely add natasha hastings in there now one thing about her that a lot of people don't know she also has the um previously had the 300 meter um record i would say world record i would say for the 300 meters indoor and she also is a eight time and um medalist she has five golds two silvers and one bronze so she won gold and world championships so those are um, some of her um world championship experiences um she, most recent things that um she has done she has have a lot of america yeah, so she definitely had the american record with a time of 36 25 I'm not sure if that record has been broken yet by, uh, by any other American. Natasha Hastings is also a athlete that is, I would say, very crucial when she <gasps> used her um, abilities. You know, she, like I said, from, from 2007 all the way up to, I would say, 2016 or more, she has been in some of the most crucial world championships like 2007, mm -hmm. 9, 13 2015 2010 2012 and even 2014 you know she's been in a lot of relays and the one thing about what makes her very legendary is that she's been on some of the best teams that has included other great athletes as her has so herself you know um when it comes to like versatility and you know pushing because she has one thing that sometimes that stops natasha hastings is that she has a very fast start when it comes to the 400 but the problem sometimes she even say herself is that you have other people prs are sometimes faster than yours and sometimes you gotta just work a bit further on she also helped contribute a lot of 4x4 teams due to the fact that she is a 400 runner. So she will turn to be at least a lead runner or either a second leg or even third leg. It really doesn't matter. Um, but she has been in the spotlight for a long time. You know, she is one of those athletes that um, even if she don't have some of the individual medals you could always go back and see how many participation you know track and field sometimes have this thing where people tend to forget that track and field is also a team sport as well only when it comes to the relays so when it comes to the relays alone she is very good at that you know she is very consistent as well you know she is a two-time medalist as well from 2008 and 2000 and um 16 and you know when it comes to 
um i think she did um ran a four by one before i'm not sure if i'm not mistaken but even from 2015 all the way up to heading to the rio game she really worked her ass off to get to the level where she needed to be um she is also a two-time um ncaa champion um some people sometimes nick nickname her the diva you know because you know she runs but she runs it in style you know but you know that doesn't separate the talented that she is you know she even have like a um you know vlog and things that it shows behind the scene of what an athlete do as well as train she is some of those athletes that are very humble and love to interact with her um audience which i really appreciate because you know she also graduated from South Carolina in 09. Um, she also was part of the New York Athletic Track Club, if I'm not mistaken, by Darley Woodson, which was the, I guess, the coach that she had. You know, from all the things that she has done over the years, you know, no one can take away her legendary status. You know, she has participated on when the team needed her the most. You know, she definitely know how to lead. You know, she you know she has some of some fast times. You know, she is very sub. She's a um, she's a sub fifty one runner. You know, she could run she could run a fifty flat or fifty fifty or even close to like a forty nine some um range runner as well. You know, she is a very quick pace runner. You know, once she's out, she's already out the gun. You know. But what kills a lot of people that runs the 400 is that when you get to like the back stretch heading to there, it's crazy. You know, one of the thing I remember when she did is when she went to the um, the U.S. Uh, trials in 2016, you know, where she got, I think, third or second at the um, trials. She was so happy making her second team because... I think she said that she missed it back in 2012 where she didn't have time to um, do it because everybody that ran had a faster PR but that shows you know the dedication that she has you know it's not easy to come out here and like train for a whole year or more and come back and don't win because every athlete in their mind they have the mentality that you know they're going to win you know but that was no different but it was her phyllis francis as well as allison felix that won the um 400 at the 2016 trials so when gearing up for the 2016 trials after she finished and won you know she was it was a sign of relief you know to make the team and then when she got to like the 2016 games the rounds were going crazy you know I think she could have got the third place you know watch going back and watching the race I really thought that she was gonna get third but you know she ended up getting um fourth overall individually which is you know for her standard you know she might be disappointed but I'm just gonna say that I was very proud of her when she did that you know if she could have dived even further she could have beat um Sharika Jackson who came in third place at the 2016 games behind Allison and Shawnee, you know um, She also has like some fast reaction time for the 400, you know, like I always say like wherever place she is She's gonna give you a fast start. You know, she always go out very fast, you know um, The only thing that I always mention is that you know I hope, you know, if she ever decided to stick around just a bit more, I would love to see one more time, you know, you know, what she could do even more, you know, because I think she's very capable of running even hundreds or even two hundreds if she ever decided to. Um, but yeah, she went to the semifinals, she advanced in the semifinals, you know, this was a, a breathtaking um, moment because you know Americans to make the US team sometime people don't know how hard it is to make the US team as well I think out of, besides Jamaica I think the US have the toughest team to make because 
your place is never guaranteed and they always come up with like new talents everywhere so i think that's something that a lot of people may not know um but yeah so she came into the final she was in lane six running a time of 49.90 if i'm not mistaken that year so she was in tip-top shape so by the time the gun went off you know sean and miller went off very quickly as well as allison felix um Sharika Jackson always followed them, but when she got close to that, she almost had it. If she could have leaned just further, got the bronze. So she felt very disappointed at first. Um, but definitely, that was a photo finish that year, especially at the 400. You know, Sean and Miller won, but, you know, due to the whole dive incident. But um, Natasha Hastings is the type of athlete where, you know, she will give you a good start, you know, no matter how tough the race could be. She always run her own race respectfully and with discipline, you know. One thing that a lot of people might say is like, you know, you have athletes that they have individual, but how good can they do with team? You know, some athletes, they're very good at chemistry when it comes to running a relay team. You know, that's why you could put them as captains, or at least. You know, after they won the gold in um, 2016 and celebrated, you know, it was a sign of relief. You know, she not only won, um, they not only won the gold, but she came in fourth, which, you know, at first she felt disappointed, but... I, I'm just going to say I was very proud of um, you, Natasha Hastings, because, you know, it's it's an inspiration to see athletes that work so hard and still produce tip-top shit. Like, even when you have new face coming in in the scene, you're always going to have names throwing around like the Natasha Hastings, the Felixes, the Sheldiettes. You know, she is one of the greats, and I hope people still remember that because... You know, give the great athletes their flowers now because the world is crazy, you know. And it's good to, you know, see the greatness in athletes, even if they don't have that much individuals. But, you know, she is, she was even greater in her youth days, you know, competing. And now she was still competing in tip-top shape, even in um, her senior days, you know. But, yeah, Latasha Hastings, and she even, I guess took a time off you know after racing throughout the whole year after the 2016 took a break came back and then 2017 we had the world championships at um london and you know she was also there also you know she also helped contribute the um four by um four i guess she was in the semi-finals or finals if i'm not forgetting and they won that comfortably you know, you always need the type of, and if she has a lot of endurance. That's one thing I realized. Like, whenever time you see certain team they put up, they always put her either in the semifinals or the finals. Because she has that push that a lot of people don't have. You know, she has that strong, strong kick. You know, um, I know that after 2017 World Championship, she decided to settle down and marry um, Wilson gay if i'm not mistaken and you know she had her first child i think after that and then she took up time off to just relax and just enjoy you know being a mom and i guess um her focus was to definitely get back to like um the u.s trials for the 2020 games and they had refurnished the eugene oregon thing so by the time that she got back, um, it was very tough, like I said, this year for the athletes to definitely get back on their feet. Especially to make the team this year was even tougher due to the fact that it had a whole delay due to the whole pandemic. So when 2021 came around and they had the games, sadly, I don't think she made it, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know... I hope to see her at the World Championship next year, 2022. That would mean a lot to me. You know, I think she has a lot to offer still if she's still running very good. You know, even her road to Tokyo was, you know, very progressive. But 
to make the Olympic team sometime is not fully guaranteed, you know. But definitely thank you guys for watching the channel as well as the video. I hope you guys like um, my first athlete, which is Natasha Hastings. Also, go check out her channel at Natasha Hastings slash Diva. And I'll see you guys for Phyllis Francis, which is next. And make sure you guys love and like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.